Well, like I said, I was super grateful to meet you. And then upon seeing you, I'm kind of surprised after seeing your last fight that I don't see you covered in blood right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> what was that like? Was that weird yeah. as it happened? Because watching it, and I've been covering combat sports for a long time, I was like, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of blood for everyone, I think. My coach, Mike Brown, who's obviously a legend in the sport and has been around as a fighter and a coach for years, said it's the bloodiest fight he's ever seen. Yeah. And I mean, he's like... Justin Poirier's coach, too. Right. So if it's the bloodiest fight he's ever seen, then I know it's pretty bloody. Um, it was gross, to be honest, when I was in there. It's like, it's one of those things where you're at war with yourself. You know, there's a part of me who's a human and is like, right. I don't want to do this to someone. And there's another part of me that is like, win at all costs, you know. Yeah. Smash her face. <laughs> right, because I figured, like, while you were doing it, you probably had some thoughts, like, well, this is getting no, kind of out of hand. I mean, I was literally <laughs> slipping in blood, and I was like, is this normal? Like, this. When are they going to stop yeah, it? You know, because you were winning pretty convincingly, yeah. I thought. I mean, I guess the good news is, like, elbows. Elbows really make yeah, it wow. really different for me. Um, so that was an exciting part of fighting in a victor last year, for sure, was just seeing the difference of the damage that I'm capable of doing when... Cool MMA rules are yeah. 